What is going on guys? We are back with some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle and we are here today to Dokkan Awaken Kid Buu now. I want to apologize for my camera right now because I'm actually using the built-in camera into the computer. And I actually have my own separate uh, camera right here. Uh, but it doesn't agree with my new microphone. I don't know why but the audio doesn't pick up in the actual other camera. So I gotta use the built-in setup to OBS. Yeah. So anyways guys, so we're going to be Doku making this mod here. Now, Kid Buu, uh, he is the Extreme Intelligence 120 Leader, and he is deemed one of the worst 120 Leaders, and honestly, yeah, he is, quotes up, one of the worst, but he actually has uh, quite amazing game. It's quite amazing perks, honestly. He does heal. He has one of the biggest, uh, no, I don't want to do that. There you go. Uh, oh, oh, rip, complete rip. <laughs> he has one of the biggest, I guess, flat buffs in the game. Um, his restriction is very easy to maintain, so it's not an issue at all. So we're going to level him up to 100. And then at that point, we're actually going to get him all the way up. Uh, well, we're going to go up at that point with 77 of his own Kippy Medals. And uh, with him also comes the Doku Awakening of the uh, STR base from Goku. And also the Int base form Vegeta, which aren't the greatest cards in the world. But they're uh, decent options for their own team, I should say. So if you do have them, I'll say go ahead and farm them. And, well, not farm them, but go ahead and Doku Awakening them. Uh, you could farm their super attack somewhat. Uh, Vegeta is a more easier farm the super attack than Goku because Vegeta. Uh, just go ahead and farm the uh, super strike Vegetas. And you can feed them into him for a 50% chance when he's awaken them. If you want to go through the grind, spending all that Zenny. So we are going to awaken this guy. I'm going to go through a uh, super attack 1 to super attack 10 showcase, seeing what the damage difference is. And uh, I expect it to be uh, quite substantial. Now I'm also going to be Doku awaken the sexy Boo, but I want to get him super attack 10 first. I don't have him in sexy Boo at super attack 10 currently. Uh, so that'll be a thing when I get more copies of him. Currently, he's at like a Super Attack 7. Uh, hey, there we are. So uh, we are going to level him up. We're going to get into an event. You guys are going to see what I won. And uh, yes, just yes right now. Now, the way I'm going to get these Super Attacks up is from other Kid Poos. I pull so many of them that it's kind of ridiculous right now. Um, so I'm going to do this off camera. We're going to get into an event. And then we are going to see what I won, guys. So give me a second. So guys, here's a team. So I was literally here for about not even getting 10 to 15 minutes of refreshing the freaking friend list. Trying my ass off to find a Dokken Awaken Kid Boo friend. I found a non Dokken Awaken Kid Boo friend. Um, I found like you know everything under the sun. I even found Fifth Broly's. Could not find a freaking Kid Boo. He's new. Like you would think people would be hype running him at least for the first two weeks. At least for the first week. But I could not find any. And that's very disappointing. So I had to opt. For a Buhan friend, so <laughs> anyway, so uh, we have a uh, pretty decent team. So, of course, we have my kid, we have my Buhan, we have a friend, Buhan, we have Janimba, uh, you know, pretty good links uh, with the majority of units here. Uh, we have the GT Trunks, who's only here for his passive, providing three key and a 30% defense. Defense is in uh, that significant, more so the three key more than anything. And uh, we have this guy here, more so for a key support as well. Uh, changing tech works the rainbow, the rainbow will create paths for the units to get super attacks off. Turtles falls in the same category, just being a more solar support unit as well for that 3T passive. So we have three supporters and we have some, you know, hitters kind of. Uh, Janimba is 100%, so my Janimba can somewhat hit decently, I would say. But we all know Janimba is a mate hit. Uh, he can hit 100% dupe system, pretty high attack stat. He does get a small little buff from his passive with the pack and defense, but uh, nothing greatly substantial to where he's going to put him in, like, you know, the, the top 10 hardest hitters in the game or anything. Uh, so Trunks Super Attack 10, he's going to do what he can. He's not made to hit hard either. Uh, more so here to support. Uh, and I do want to see what Kid Buu is rocking. So this is my Kid Buu. Now, I would like to get uh, my Kid Buu with a first battle unit, but I don't have any of them currently. Uh, so I'm going to leave him with Turles until someone comes around for the next rotation. Uh, so we're going to see what Kid Buu can do. My Kid Buu just as his raw damage with uh, no uh, links at all active. And uh, of course, I'm going to be doing a Super Attack 10 showcase as well. So this is Super Attack 1, first look at a mutual damage, and he's going to be doing... That's that's not bad. Super Attack 1, zero links. He's not even on his proper lead because we're missing quite a big buff because we lack another Kid Buu friend. So Buhan is doing what he can, but we are missing a huge buff because what is that? That is a 50% buff, right? We are missing 50 freaking percent additional attack. Wow. So with an additional uh, Kid Buu friend, he would have easily done like, oh my god, man. he would have done way more, honestly. He would have, I want to say maybe four, he probably would have added another 100k on top of damage. Uh, so yeah, so I want to go to the next phase, which is going to be uh, Cell. 
uh, type advantage. So we're gonna see what he can do with that type advantage there. So he did neutral. He did 353k. So that's that's in the ballpark what's expected from him, I suppose. Uh, Janimba Loki hit harder, but for Janimba, uh, super attack 10, you know, 100% dupe system. Like, come on, it's not fair. It's not fair. Like, he lose against damage. He does have a ridiculous buff, 170% attack from the passive, but 100% Janimba. Just don't even at me. So. Uh, we have no links active. Uh, look at that. Hey, so this is one of the situations where he is. I'm going to screenshot this. This is this is, this is crazy, man. Uh, so this is what I like about, the, you know what? This is what I can tolerate about. I should say tolerate. Um, there are quite a few units out there who fit the place of what key links would be in terms of their possibilities, like Trunks and Trails that you're seeing right now. Uh, they link up with themselves. Interesting. Uh, they definitely help uh, Kid Boo out quite a bit. Uh, because, you know, once again, Kid Buu doesn't have chocolate speed, no fear and faith, nothing that's going to provide him with key from his links. So you have to rely, you are forced to rely on supporting passives. You have to. So he's going to be doing, uh, okay, so he added 100k on his down. Very nice, I'll take that. And I want to survive another round without killing this guy because I want to be able to get Wu um, Hong Link with Kid Buu because that's the majority of Kid Buu, Kid Buu's links activated right there. Uh, so I'm going to try to... Uh, not super at all this round. Try keyword try guys. Uh, my Janimba 100% B system could do quite a bit of damage here, but I don't want that to be a factor. So I'm going to avoid all super attacks. I will uh, just so I can uh, prioritize my mans for the next round. So Kid Boo will have a Boo Han link with him. Uh, plus, we are also I should left Turles in rotation. Turles is off rotation. That would have been additional 20% attack. That sucks, uh, but whatever, whatever. So Kid Boo is going to get them links active. So, wow, that is a lot of additional damage. So right now he has a base attack of 84k without links. With link that goes up to freaking 118k. So just fathom that, please. Fathom that. Uh, so we're gonna do that. And uh, links are an issue. Well, key isn't an issue because you know Trunks. You know we have the support. Uh, Rainbow Ore is provided by the uh, Android 13 the last round. So we're good on that part right there as well. So yeah, Kid Boo, I want to say uh, 600 plus, uh, 600 plus, that'd be a thing. Uh, let it be a thing, and we're going to almost like 600, so not bad. So uh, neutral damage, as we saw in the first showcase of Broly, he did 353, so that's not bad. Come over here, type bondage, no links active. My man did an additional 100k because it was 450k damage. We did this, all link, well, the majority of all his attack links are active, and you know, we added you know, quite a bit of additional damage on top of that as well. So, uh, Link said, yes, he's there to do damage. So, we are going to get this man. These man's here to super attack 10. And uh, we're going to see what the difference in damage is, guys. So, give me a bit of a moment. And uh, I will be right back. Uh, yeah, guys. So, this is just a massive headache. So, I actually had no Zenny. I didn't previously do uh, Z Awaken them. So, I had to farm like tons of Zenny. To Z awaken these guys so I can do this, and I probably spent the last like 30 minutes uh, farming Zenny to Z awaken them so I can get 100% of the attack up. So it was a pain to sit here and go through that torture and torment, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So there he is, guys, the super attack six. And I actually think I Z awaken a little too many of them, so I'm gonna get rid of these. I don't like the tech one, so I have no issue at all getting rid of him. Um, that's it. Yeah, so we're on the money. Yeah, so there we go. So uh, we have four more to get a super attack 10 up. There we go, guys. So I didn't use any Elder Kai's. None. Um, I used quite a bit of Zenny, quite a bit of material, but I just, you know, I I, I can afford to do it because I've been buying out quite a few things from the Bubble Shop. So I have tons of material, guys, and actually use uh, our glass to reverse and everything. So we're going to go ahead and re-reverse him. Uh, reverse, re-reverse. I guess that's appropriate. Re-reverse, honey. Um, so we're going to do that, and I'm going to jump to the event. Hopefully I can find a kid who friend this time. And uh, then we're going to see what's going on with the damage. So, be right back. You know, it's actually kind of crazy how many times you can refresh and scroll and still not find what you're looking for. You can find every other thing under the sun, man. Like, I even found Super 17. I found cool. I even found Buhans. I found Broly's Fizz. But I cannot find a freaking Kid Boo like this. Dang. It was so annoying. Anyways, it's just... Like, you're trying to do a video, showcase some good stuff, and know it's not happening. But, you know, a good rotation right off the bat. Uh, so we do have the ultimate pairing of Boo Han and also Kid Boo, so that's fine. Uh, we don't have a super attack, though. That's expected since we couldn't find... Actually, uh, yeah, we don't have a uh, key supporter. So how can you get a super attack off of idea? Is that going to drop? Uh, it didn't. Damn it. Okay, well, whatever. Let's see what his base damage is, I guess. Let's see what his neutral hit is going to be. 
So he has a huge attack stat. So previously it was at like 120, 118, and we have uh, gone quite a big jump in damage from his base attack from what it was to what previous what he is now. Uh, so yeah, so I actually don't want to kill him. So I'm gonna put a uh, Turles on rotation because uh, he does buff allies by 20%. So that's the, that's additional damage uh, for Kid Buu. Now Kid Buu will definitely be getting super attack off this next round, and uh, then we'll be able to see what he can do now. You know, you might be asking, why don't I have any orbs in my kid? Do not. I have tons of orbs. I have so many orbs, guys. I, sh I show you my orbs at the end of the video. But I could put orbs into uh, Kid Boot to max his uh, dupe system. But I'm going to, I'm going um, about my units a different way. So I've uh, decided to not invest any orbs into any units that I am not going to 100% in the future. And uh, I don't mind 100% in Kid Boot, but I don't have dupes for him. So if I don't have any dupes, or if I have no plans to 100% them, they don't get any orbs because orbs are just too precious. And I want 100% units. I currently have like 12. Let's see what he can do first. He's going to be doing. That's a big jump. Previously, the boy did 300 and 53k. He didn't have links out to keep that in mind. There was no links out. So with links, you probably add another 100k on top of that. But he got, he got. I want to say at least 370k stronger from Super Attack One to Super Attack Ten. That is disgusting. That is sickness, people. That is insanity. Wow, I am very impressed. Now what? Na 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 ni na da yo shandaro. Now if I gave him more, if I had a dupe, if I had four dupes, honestly. But once again, I'm not gonna give any units orbs. I don't have uh, dupes of them. Uh, preferably all four dupes. I don't want to just give like one or two little orbs. So that's where I'm at right now in terms of uh, my uh, style of game here. I, I do want to have one of the uh, sexy X, sex ES, sex sexy, what was even that? <laughs> one of the sexy S boxes out there, and uh, that does involve having 100% units, so I am all about that. Janimba, you don't, you better not crit, you don't even. <sighs> wow, 100% Janimba for you. Uh, is there another, there's no other, actually, yeah, boost, boost heck, yeah, so we can still showcase uh, type advantage now. So we did a uh, neutral damage. Now we're going to do type advantage, and uh, we're going to see what he can do here. So we have Buhan, we have Kid Boo, we should have uh, Perlis. There we are, so beautiful combination here. So what is type advantage going to be? So we're going to see what that's going on right now. So there we go, that's super attack. Uh, Buhan doesn't need one, but you know we're going to give it to him. I'm pretty sure Kid Boo will kill by himself. So Perlis is buffing him for additional 20%, so she should be doing yeah Base damage is 800k, very nice. I want to say a mil. I'm going to be confident with a mil. Uh, wow, 1.1, 1 .1, wow, you know what, he's very good guys, he's very good now, the only issue is that he's lacking any key length, shock and speed would have been nice, fear and faith, I would have taken it, but nothing, nada, uh, but he does damage people, we can obviously see that he does damage, now I'm going to buff him a little bit with some items uh, next time he pops up, so uh, we're going to see what he can do, just buffed up, uh, tight disadvantage now, because we're going to be fighting faith, okay, so, Type this vine, not really interesting seeing type this vine, but whatever, we're gonna see it. Uh, Buhan's going to uh, one shot. Buhan, my Buhan has like no orbs as well, so. Once again, I don't give orbs to units that I don't plan 100% in the future, so Buhan doesn't get any orbs by default because I don't want 100% him. Uh, and uh, this one of the cases where I'm gonna have to do this, that's gonna be a thing. Uh, type disadvantage now, what's it gonna bring? How's the damage gonna be looking? We're gonna see right now, and uh, is it gonna be substantial? Type disadvantage once again, you know. Uh, I wanna say maybe you're gonna be looking at a 500k. 475, 500k. We are going to be doing three. Okay, I, I highballed him. I highballed him way too much, but uh, that's pretty, that's still pretty decent. Uh, so let's actually go through this uh, phase here. And uh, I love this right here. Shocking speed is so beautiful. I wish Kid Boo had it, but he doesn't have anything. Uh, fun fact uh, no Kid Boo in the game has any key links at all. None. Uh, the AGL one doesn't, the Tech one doesn't. The Fizz one doesn't. Uh, I don't even think Sexy Boo has any key links. So just friggin' Janimba showcasing as to why he's one of the best units in the game. Still, even after all these crazy meta cards, I mean, my Kid Boo is 100%. So that's not exactly accurate. But you know, I'm just saying I'm, I'm a Kid Boo fan, honestly, because 100% of my Kid Boo. So of course I'm a fan. Uh, type of bond, type this mind once again. Um, now let's see if I buff him up a little bit. Uh, I don't think I have any more advantage situations here in this uh, fight, so we're just going to add him, uh, give him a bit of a damage. So last time he did uh, 385k type disadvantage. So let's see what he's going to do now. Buff to hell. 
hype disadvantage again so he's gonna add an additional like uh, like a hundred additional damage on top of what he really has so he should be doing disgusting levels of damage guys so this is almost simulating a crit this is almost simulating a crit guys look, look at his base damage that is 331k zero orbs blinking like what even no turlis boy boy yo no. this i want to say 1.6 mil base damage i want to say we're gonna see 700k i want to say 700k disadvantage uh <gasps> that's amazing that is phenomenal now we buffed into hell yes we did but wow just wow right now um i think janimba's gonna one shot right here honestly because if he gets a crit, oh, I didn't even get any. Oh, I'm ridiculous. I'm retarded. Let me shut up. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna leave those orbs there for Kid Boo. Uh, well, the key, I should say. And uh, ooh, Kid Boo gets a Dokin mode next. Bro, I wasn't even paying attention to Dokin mode. Ooh, a dodge. But we're gonna get it. We are gonna get Dokin mode. We're gonna buff him to hell again, and we're gonna see what he can do in all of his glory, guys. So this is gonna be. Oh, Turles is here, guys. So we have everything going on in terms of links, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, support buffs, because Turles, of course. And we're going to add an additional. Oh, that's still active. Uh, this should still be active as well. Yep. Yeah, and uh, this should need to be a buff again. Yeah, yeah, guys. So <laughs> this is disgusting. That is, that is overkill. There's no event in the game that calls for that amount of damage. Like, the Doki Mode is overkill. The items are overkill, like this is unnecessary level of damage, it really is, like this is, we don't even need to do this, like this is just, this is torture. This is absolutely, absolutely, wow, I missed, I missed one, so that is, that is, ripped me right. Uh, so you look down below right now where he's attacking, he has a 1.8 mil, 1.8 mil base attack before Super Ring and I missed one Doki mode node, so keep that in mind as well. So I think that's like uh, an additional 10% loss. He's going to be doing, I want to say, almost two... <gasps> what the? Where we... Whoa! Interesting. I was... I, I said two mil. <laughs> I buffed him. I, I buffed him, yes. Um, But neutral damage. I missed the node. <laughs> um, He has no orbs. <laughs> I think that's impressive. And we are not even on a proper lead because I'm running a Buhan friend, so... If other factors were in play, like orbs, uh, if crits were a thing, <laughs> if we had an additional 50% buff from the friend, <laughs> if I had um, Scouter Vegia, like there are situations that I could possibly do in the future that's going to buff him to the point where he could probably be doing a 10 mil Dokken attack. Like, no one's questioning his damage. I doubt anyone's going to be saying, oh, he doesn't do damage. He does damage. It is obvious that he does disgusting most of the damage is literally just the fact that he doesn't have any key link none that is literally the only thing that holds him back from being i want to say top five of the best one of the best well maybe not top five, maybe top six one of the best teams that's in the 120 meta uh so this is going to be beautiful i think i have an item to buff him i is this still active no it's not active you know let's, let's give him a little bit of a buff i don't want to i don't want to jerk him too much but you know uh we're gonna do that so uh, yeah, so having the supporters, Android 13, uh, Turles, and also uh, the Trunks is a massive help to the team because they just provide you know, orbs and they just provide key. Uh, this is going to do, I want to say, uh, 700k, 800k. Um, I'm, I'm, I lowballed him again. Wow, so I highball lowball. Yeah, I have bad judgment in this game, obviously. Uh, wow, I was expecting Buhan to do that. Interesting. So... Oh, wow, only with two orbs. Wait, how many orbs did I get with Buhan right there? I thought it was two. Anyway, so uh, that's the completion of the video, guys. So this video for me took about an hour because I had to, like, find Kid Boo friends, which I never found any, by the way. I had to train up the other one so I can see if we can only get 100% of that. It took, like, half an hour by yourself. So my uh, timer on the bottom says an hour, but I know the video is going to be condensed into, like, like 12, 15 minutes for you guys. So that's not a problem. So, and I beat my time. Hey, I beat my time. Hey. So hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Kid Boo himself is not a bad card. I do want to do a test on a mono villain because he'll fit perfectly there. Actually, let me see my mono villain team real quick, real, real quick, guys. I think uh, Kid Boo, he honestly is in the greatest edition because my mono villains is uh, pretty Gucci. Um, I do have orbs and everyone. I do have additionals and critical. Well, yeah, I do. 
Uh, but you know, Kid Boo does have healing, and that is very valuable. Um, let me actually specify in his links. He has Big Bad Boss. Does that Nightmare? Uh, no Nightmare, but he has Big Bad Bosses. Uh, Brutal Beatdown. Uh, that's going to be a link with Janimba. Uh, Infinite Regeneration is going to be. Is that Janimba as well? I think Janimba has Metamorphosis. Yeah, it's not with Janimba. Uh, more than the eye is nothing important. Honestly, okay, he has Big Bad Bosses, Brutal Beatdown. Uh, and uh, fierce battles. So, I mean, his link sets aren't yeah. You know, this freaking kid do anyways, guys. So, hope you enjoy the video. Like I said, I uh, hope you uh, learned something, I guess, and I uh, hope you uh, like the kid do showcase. So, uh, like, share, comment down below. If you're not subscribed, make it a thing down below in the red button. If it's not red, then you're already subscribed, guys. So, uh, let me know. What, let me know what team you prefer. Like, what's the best one for me? Uh, team, in your opinion. A uh, little comment. To add to the video, it's something additional, I guess. So, uh, I'll see you in a video. I think I won't see you in a video.